digital technologies are becoming more capable of reproducing um, the richness of, of, of life. We should always be looking at what is on the borders, what is on the boundaries of what we can um, do. Preservation is important because heritage is under threat. It's under threat in lots of different ways. I mean, we live in an ever-changing world. We live in a destructive world. Just the passage of time, things fall apart, things age. But climate change and extreme climate has you know, caused coastal erosion, destruction of archaeological sites. We are working within the limitations of current research, layered and complex landscapes, and considerable gaps in knowledge and any landscape only reveals a small part of what was originally there. So new technologies are evolving, but they're also increasing the quality of assets and speeding up processing while becoming more affordable and opening up new methods for dissemination of heritage. New generations expect us to use technology like virtual reality and augmented reality to communicate our past and help them to understand the life of their ancestors. The younger generation, of course, has a different attitude towards digital technology. They are born digital and they take it for granted in a completely different way from uh, people who were uh, sort of forced into it or took it up by their own interest. So we should absolutely listen to this uh, younger generation about how to, to do things. But then again, they also need to develop. I'm not just looking for digital for digital sake, which I think is a mistake when younger generations are, are thought of. I do not want filtered information though. The digital domain is part of the real world. It's just part of the world. It's part of what we grow up with. We, it's not something that is new or is different. And I think that what that means is, is that digital representations of heritage need to be part of the way in which we do heritage. The pandemic has really pushed us into the digital world and I believe people have better skills now to deal with technology. So COVID-19 pushed the sector to catch up with what the public expected. Sustainability in those practices now needs to be instilled, but the skills a curator has to put together a physical exhibition is not necessarily far off from what is needed for a digital exhibition. The most exciting thing about using digital technologies is when you take somebody into a representation of the past and they are totally engaged with it, that they feel as though that they are there and it leads them to understand. I think the most uh, interesting and exciting thing about digital media and cultural heritage is to explore the new ways of storytelling, the new ways of engaging uh, the audience. It helps us to give a glimpse of something that once existed and to build a narrative with virtual triggers. In the end, it's all about storytelling. 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, if you wanted to have a film representation or a strong visual representation, you know, you needed a big games company or you needed a big film company, but now um, we can do these things with technologies that are much more accessible. Anything digital can be edited and reproduced as long as the metadata, paradata and project files are available. So as cultural understanding or scientific knowledge shifts, so can the digital project. It creates new audiences and different perspectives for a more diverse and inclusive approach to the conversation around heritage preservation. Digital heritage can really challenge uh, traditional and older established narratives in the way that it opens up for more non-linear forms of communication and it opens up for access to the background material. And when involving the community in the digitization of their own heritage, social inclusion and identity is strengthened, which can lead to greater responsibility and safeguarding of community heritage. The potential in the digital domain for heritage to um, act and to be 
a thing which brings people together, which promotes understanding, which traverses boundaries, which traverses borders, which enables people to connect together and discover the commonality of the human uh, experience. Building regional autonomy and advanced technological practice to digitize heritage helps to democratize practice and create sustainable solutions for future engagement. I think it's important to build a network on digital preservation and promotion of heritage in the north because in these countries we are so few living in huge rural areas. Collaboration and development can be strengthened because we share experiences and we teach each other how to use the technologies in a variety of settings relative to different types of cultural heritage. A network that is open, that has an open infrastructure, um, that uh, tries to empower and build capacity of organisations big and small, of, of people, um, so that they can use technologies in the day-to-day -day, um, existence. The Five Collective has supported the continuing development of new accessible immersive tools for revisioning past landscapes, sites and characterizations. I hope every heritage organization in the world possesses top-notch digital skills and uses digital tools to create and manage their own digital heritage. I want less barriers and greater access because so much unique heritage is held by smaller organizations and museums. They shouldn't be at a disadvantage for heritage communication compared to bigger institutions. Not when public digital skills and power of commodity equipment is progressing so rapidly.